What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. Today, we're standing up here on the bow of a 130 foot American built super yacht. This is a Christensen motor yacht. So the length of course, 130 feet or 39.62 meters. You have a beam of 26 feet at eight inches or 8.13 meters and a draft of six feet and two inches or 1.86 meters. Christensen is a very well-known American yacht builder. This one is listed for sale by Jarrett Hebert at Merrill Wood & Associates. It was first delivered in 1993, most recently refit in 2022. And of course, if you want a full list of all the refit work done over the years, the Merrill Wood brochure will have that information for you. Inside, we have six different staterooms, so you can sleep up to 12 guests. Let's go ahead and get started with this American-built super yacht tour. So, as mentioned, we're up here on the bow, obviously. You can see your crane right here. You also have two jet skis stored up here. You have the bench seating in the V-shape up here all the way on the bow, as well as the bell. So, I think we'll head back and we'll start in the traditional fashion that we normally do, back on the swim platform, and then we'll make our way into the main salon. Now, a couple caveats. The owners are on board. The crew's actively working. There's a lot going on for this one. So if we have to bounce around a little bit, please bear with me. I hope you understand. Right here, we have a side access door into the main entrance. But like most of the time, you're gonna make your way on board to the main salon all the way from the aft deck. So here you can see the beautiful aft deck. You have a huge teak table right here. So all 12 guests could easily dine at this table. You have the bar area set up over here. So some drawer refrigeration. You have the wine fridge or the drink fridge. And you also have your sink. And it looks like there is a space for a TV to drop down right here. And then you can see what this looks like. You have one of the gates closed. And if we peer down, you'll see the swim platform. You have a couple sea bulbs on display. And then you also have the side gate open over here. And that's how everyone's making their way on board for the show. Let's head inside. One thing I noticed when doing my initial walkthrough, you know, some yachts you have a very bland interior. This one, I really like when owners and the designers really express themselves. So you have to let me know what you think of the styling in the comment section. All right, so we actually just bumped into the owners for the first time, so I knew it was gonna happen. But let's make our way into this main salon. You have the piano over here. Really large windows. Keep the beard. You have the round table right here, and like the little card display they have set up. And I think, I think we have ESPN on. I think college game day is on because it is a big day for college football. So, I mean, I would be doing the same thing if I was the owner of this yacht, but you have a huge TV right here, of course. And then if we continue forward, we're gonna find the formal dining area. Look at this lovely display they have set up for the show. And then I love this entire wall of the wine storage. Look at this, it's incredible. One of the best things about these older yachts because they are refit and redone over the years, you get so many interesting design concepts. All right, so we're gonna head forward to the cabin on the main deck. And you actually have a couple different options on this one. You can have this set up as your owner suite, but there's also an immaculate owner suite down below. So this could also act as a really fantastic VIP cabin. You have your TV up, up here, of course. King size bed. The storage over here, little desk. And guys, sometimes I say desk. Normally they're always a dressing table, but I just use those two interchangeably because you could use it for either. And then behind this glass here, you do have a large closet. And then the ensuite for this one will be located right here. Really big shower. You actually have two rainfall shower heads. 
You could easily fit multiple people in here. Now, before we head over there, so you know me, I always like to show the galley. This one, the chefs the, and the crew, they're actively working in there. And the chefs, normally, this is understandable. They're very protective of their space. They want it to always look immaculate. I try to explain that, hey, you guys love to see how these outs are actually used. So there's gonna be some things out. They might've cleaned it up a little bit, but we're gonna head in there now and see if we can grab a quick shot. It's located right here. Here you can see the day head. And then here's that side entrance, the door that we passed earlier. And we're gonna head back. We're gonna come capture the galley in a few more minutes. They're just wrapping a couple things up. Guys, I can't get over this wall of the wine rack. It's fantastic. Let's head upstairs. You can see the staircase going down to the guest cabins and up to the upper deck. Actually, getting a little crazy here. We're actually gonna go down to the guest cabins first. And we do have five additional cabins. Down here, you have a really large landing area. And then I talked about this owner suite or the second VIP cabin. We're gonna head in there first, actually. I won't make you wait. Guys, check this out. This is the full beam of the yacht. So this is just a huge room. You have the king bed, huge TV on the wall. You have your storage over here. You have the dresser, as well as a large walk-in closet. And then the ensuite is located right over here. And I believe this is an onyx countertop and it is backlit. I love that look. This is very high-end stuff. And then this one has the bathtub. And you can also see the wand attachment as well. And I know some of you, you're already thinking, oh my God, where's the shower? Don't worry guys, we have a shower still. You don't just have the bathtub. You have a sofa over here, and then the ensuite is actually split. You have the full rainfall shower right here. This is actually pretty cool. I've never seen a shower head like that. It's kind of like a mini rainfall shower at an angle coming out right there, as well as the main rainfall right up here. And then this is the second, once again, I believe this can be backlit. You have the onyx countertop, your toilet. And this is locked. I would imagine this is another walk-in closet. They probably have their personal belongings in here. And because obviously we're at the boat show, certain things, I mean, so many things in this yacht are valuable, but you know, sometimes you want your privacy and you want to tuck some things away. And then if we head back in this hallway, we have a bunch more cabins to check out. Look at this room, you have two. These are probably, you know, they're kind of between a single and a double. I'm gonna call them two small doubles. TV right here, closets. Rainfall shower, of course. And I'm loving in every single room, you know, whether you're a fan of the exact design or not, I'm loving how in every single room they have something funky and different. Obviously, if you want something a little more, a little more casual, a little more, you know, subdued, you could do that. But hey, if you have a super yacht, you should customize it exactly how you want. So I always love seeing when the owners have a very distinct style. This room is mirrored to the last. And I actually think one of these beds, I think this bed is slightly bigger than this one. So this is like a small double. This is kind of like a large single. Either way, you have great flexibility with all the different cabins. And then what is this door to? Oh, okay, this is very cool. Let me get to that in a second. If we come over here, we actually have a kid's room over here. So you can see it's not in exact bunk beds over each other, but you have this beautiful exotic woodwork, all of the storage drawers built in, and then the two singles, and like I said, these are huge singles. They're like singles and a half. So you have the two single beds in here. So this is basically the kids' room. And then this shares the ensuite, kind of like a Jack and Jill style, with the room right over here. 
You could also use this space if you had some young children and you had a nanny with you. Maybe they could sleep in this room and then they're connected to the kids' room. I mean, it's, obviously it's not that hard to just walk in the hallway, but some of those yachts, you know, sometimes owners like to configure it like that. But either way, you have the shared ensuite. And then we have another VIP cabin right here. Technically, it's not officially the VIP because we have those other two. But I mean, just look at the size of this thing. For me, I would count this as another VIP. All the different owners of this yacht have been very meticulous with all the maintenance. And because this is a Christensen, it is a very high quality build. And this one also has the bathtub. And this one is in a combo with the rainfall shower. All right, so we've seen all the different guest cabins. If you're enjoying this Christensen super yacht so far, make sure you like the video. And then we're going to press on. And now we're going to head upstairs. So we're going to start forward at the bridge. You have a side access door. Then here you can see all the controls for the super yacht. You can see the camera system, so that's the dock at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. And then the crew areas, they're all connected, so you'll see it in a little bit. I know we bypassed the galley. You have the captain's office right here, but the crew can easily get up and down to the bridge from this staircase. And then this is the captain's cabin. So I think we're going to bump into some traffic again, so bear with me for a second. I think we have to swap with the owners again. You have the day head for this level located right here. And then just aft of that day head, here is the Sky Lounge. So we're going to step behind this beautiful bar. Look at that. Then of course you have drink fridges, refrigerators, ice makers, everything you need, the sink right here. The built-in bar stools. And then of course your seating areas, as well as the TV. All right, now let's head outside. So up here on the bridge deck aft, you have additional jet skis stored up here. So if you wanted to, you could have your tender up here as well. But then you can see over here, actually I think, hold on, let me adjust this camera. So it is very bright out here. There we go. You can see this lovely freestanding furniture. And you can customize this however you want it, of course, but I do like how it fills up the space nicely. And then of course we walk past it, but here is an alfresco dining area. So whether you're downstairs or on this deck, you could have some lovely meals out here. And I know for the most part, when you're on these super yachts, you know, the owners and the guests, they like to eat outside. Kind of the whole point of being on these yachts is you're outside. But obviously having the really nice space inside is, you know, required as well, just in case the weather's not so great, or, you know, you just want to hang out inside on a hot day. But having both flexible spaces, and top tier spaces inside and out. That's always important. And I think there's another refrigerator right under here. So let's head all the way forward again. This is the door to the bridge. We have a wing station right here. And then look at this area. This is fantastic. So you could have your breakfast out here. You could have your morning cup of coffee. You have your two teak tables and the huge bench that goes along with it. Then of course this overlooks the bow area where we started this tour. There's so many great spaces on this Christensen. Same thing, you have the wing station on this side. And 
and we're just working our way back around. So, up to the sun deck. This is a proper tri deck super yacht. So, you can see these are adjustable. You have a large sun pad right here. And I like how, I actually like how everything is facing each other. Overhead, you have this huge shade, but this could be taken down if you want this area to be fully exposed. But it's a nice sociable area, like I said, because everything's facing each other. And then you have the seating flanking either side of everyone's favorite, the jacuzzi. You also have the grill on the far side of the sun deck. And look at this, you have some really great speakers up here as well. I can imagine both from the spaces inside and out, you could throw some incredible parties on this yacht. All right, let's head back down. And then this is kind of cool, actually. You don't always see this on the more modern designs because they try to maximize every single ounce of space, but you have your staircase actually hidden down in this section here. So instead of it just being on the aft deck, they keep that clear. And this is a more streamlined look off to the side. And then I think actually, I think, you know, we flip, we've been flip-flopping with the owners a couple times. I think they're back in the main salon. So let me head in this side access door. Let's see if we can grab a shot of the galley and then we'll head down to the entrance. Oh, unfortunately that is locked. So we're gonna head back around. Actually, before we head down to the galley, let's head down to the engine room while we're here. This is pretty close to where we started, obviously, on the aft deck. Then if we come down here, you can see the hydraulic swim platform. Then you have a really large fixed swim platform as well. You can see some of the toys that are on board. Here you can see, uh, you can see additional storage over here. We have another sea bob, and then tons of space over here as well. We have a little workshop, and then through the store is where we find the engines. So, this yacht comes with a pair of Cat C32 engines. They're 1,650 horsepower each. Your top speed is estimated at around 17 knots. You can cruise at 13, and you're looking at around 3,000 nautical miles of range. You can see your generator back here. Thank you. And then, they might show this off. First of all, on this transom door, if you look up, there is a shower built in as well. So if you're swimming off the back of the yacht, and then you want to rinse off before you step on board. And let me climb out real quick. I just want to watch my head. But you do have the shower built in. Yep. And then they're going to close this door. Yeah, you can go ahead and close it. And then we have the fresh Sweet Escape logo right off the back of the transom door. Beautiful. Yep, thank you so much. All right, now, I know, one more time. I'm actually, I might pause recording for a second because I don't want to swap places with them again. So, bear with me for a second. All right, guys, and here is the galley. Act of what is so-called private violence spilled out into the community and left. Oh, I have many. Guys, so we have plenty of cold storage right here. We're going to keep the chef out of the shop, but they're hard at work. But this is a really good-sized galley.
Thank you, sir. Anytime. Thank you. All right, guys. So thank you so much to the crew. They're working extremely hard, but they're always very helpful. So I appreciate that. Let me know what you thought of this Christensen super yacht in the comment section down below. Thank you, of course, to Merrill Wood and Associates for granting me access on board. Make sure you subscribe if you're new so you never miss a future upload. And we will catch you next time.